everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Seinfeld's Grand Theft Auto Vice City Let's Play. So, we are uh, going on to Umberto Robina's next mission called Cannon Fodder. Yay! Papi, my problem, Tom. Papi! Un gran problema! Umberto, my son, what happened? Un gran problema! They messed with me. They messed with me for the last time. What is your problem? We'll take him out. Only we need some backup. I lost a few hermanos already out there. Amigo, you drive good. For a woman, right? This is no time for joking. Come on, drive for me again. Amigo, take my boys over there. When they mess with me, they mess with the biggest boy in town. I take the whole family with me, man. All right, so now I have to get a four-door car, which I already have this van parked out here, and to pick up his boys. And, you know what? Yeah, it's just... That'll work, but hopefully they won't get stuck in front of the... We're gonna fight like men! Come on. Oh, okay, so I guess it's automatically... Okay, cool. Alright, so, um... So, Little Haiti will be swarming with rival gangsters, trying to even the score or whatever, so, um... Yeah, this is gonna be a, pretty much a big shootout, so make sure you have full armor and health, which you don't have full armor, but that's fine. And also make sure you have your sniper and either rocket launcher or a minigun with you because that'll make this mission quite a bit easier. So uh, once you get all four in a four-door vehicle, uh, drive them over. Of course, don't blow up the vehicle uh, on your way there. Uh, drive them over to the marker on the map and it's going to be kind of a close quarters combat type of thing. Uh, well, I guess it should have made a left, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that during that intro mission, there was a Originally a different script, but it had a lot of controversy from the actual Haitians, and I'll put like a little pop-up or something uh, describing what it is, so... Anyway, alright. So this is where you want to take out your rocket launcher. There you go. Aim. And hopefully it'll hit that car. And take out most of the uh, people there. And if you want, you could take out your sniper and take a couple of these guys out. There you go. I know there's one more over here with the peak marker. Fantastic. <laughs> Make it easy for them, but. Sniper on the roof! They fight like girls! Take cover! We need reinforcements from the cafe! Take out that cowardly sniper! <laughs> yeah. So, go ahead and go in. You can zoom in if you'd like. Um, make sure... It's right on them, and there you go. But be careful, more are going to be coming from around the corner, so get a good weapon, whichever one you'd like. Try not to kill your own guys, though. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They don't have to survive this, but it's just easier for Fight like a men lot of with you. huge cojones! My body. You. You're trying to kill me? This is not what I want. We have to do our mental bravery. You are a good man. As you see, uh, of course it doesn't matter if these guys die or not, but it's good to have them as, uh, you know, for the targets. You don't have to take all these guys out, but you do need to do, because they're just going to keep coming out of there, so. Uh, run over here, get in the van. There you go. Yep, and just take the van back to uh, Robina's Cafe. Run these guys over here, right here. And then check your map for the nearest pain spray, which is most right in front of you. So what we're going to do is... Oh, which way, which way? It's like right in the middle. I guess it go north, north, south? Or south, east, northeast, then south? 
you know, whatever. Uh, south, north, south. North, north, south, or south, north, south? Yeah, I'll go south. Probably should have gone north, but doesn't matter. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's make it a lot easier just going to uh, the parents' grave first. You don't have to, it says just go back to his uh, cafe, which you know, may or may not be easy, but you, know, you don't want the uh, cops trying to ram you the entire time. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, see? Easy enough. And I did lose some armor and some health, but I think I spent too much time with that big group of the Haitians. Uh, after we made it into the main complex area, so like I said, you just take out enough so they don't bother you, and then um, get in the van and quickly make your escape and let the guys take care of the rest. Okay, so don't worry too much about them on your own. All right, ooh, don't tip the van over either. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why we have this van. Whatever. I'm sure this will be a mission in the future that I'll explain it, but we'll see. Alright, so we're almost at the cafe. All you have to do is just drive it into the marker, and then that would be it. Leave this mission. Just... There we go. Yeah, $2,000. Did he actually run away? Okay, I was say, you should have. Wow. Really? Okay. Well, you see, there's a mar marker that appears. Uh, back in front of the cafe, but that will of course be on the next video. And after completing this mission, we will be at 91% towards 100% completion. I don't remember if that's the same as the last one or not, but whatever. Anyway, so I love you all. Peace out, and...